Hello and welcome. You are watching the Trey Hart Total Heart and Health Transformation Channel 2020. And this is the second part in the Live Your Healthiest Life series. And today we're going to talk about some of the things you might would do before you start your health change plan. So, stick around. So, one of the most important things that we can do when it comes to starting our healthy life changing plan is to pick a date. That's right, we need to know when to start. So, we need to pick a date. Now, we don't want to make this too far in the future, but it does need to be reasonable. So we need to, like last week we talked about, are you ready? So we need to make sure we're ready. And then we need to pick a date to start. And then we're going to start on that date. One of the other things is, is regardless of which diet or which health plan you are using, we are going to get our kitchens ready. That's right. So we're going to get our kitchens ready. For one, we're going to get rid of the stuff that we're not going to use, like the foods that we don't want to use. So the foods we're not going to eat, we're going to get rid of those. And, you know, you can give them away to friends and family. Um, and then one of the things we are going to do is we are going to stock our pantries with the foods that we are going to eat. You want to make sure that you have the stuff that you're going to eat available for you. And so as well in your kitchens you're going to want to make sure that uh, for example if you're on a calorie controlled diet that um, you have the food scales and that you have the measuring cups and measuring teaspoons available for your use for your particular diet that you are following. The next thing we are going to do is we're going to line up our gear. Because remember, part of a healthy life change includes exercise. So we want to make sure that we have the appropriate shoes um, for exercising in. So it's not usually appropriate to exercise in stuff like slippers and um, flip-flops. The reason is, it's not that you can't exercise in them. If you're doing your exercise, that's fine. But the reason is, is they don't support your feet the way that they should do. But as well, you want to make sure that the clothing that you have are appropriate for exercising in. So you don't want you want to make sure that they are loose fit and that they are appropriate for the exercises that you are going to do. We also want to make sure that whatever we have, like for the exercises that we have available. You know, some people do body weight exercises, which is fine, but other people do exercises that might incorporate uh, things like dumbbells and um, but just so we want to make sure that if we are going to incorporate that into our healthy life change plan that we have those available for us to use. The last thing that we're going to do to make sure that we are prepared for a healthy life change is, is that we set up a tracking system. Now this is a tracking system for whether it's our diet that we're going to be tracking or whether it's our exercise, or even whether it's for healthy habits that we are adopting. And if you want to view um, what I feel is the best way of tracking this, then you can see a link that I will put below about journals, because I think journaling is one of the best ways of tracking this. However, if you're not a person who likes to journal, then there are many apps that you can use. 
and there's many things on the computers that you can use to help track your um, whether it's a diet for calories or whether it's just for your exercise so we do want to set up a tracking system because we also want to know our progress so part of that tracking system is to make sure that you know we do an initial weight uh, initial waist measurement uh, initial you know chest measurement and we want to do that as part of our tracking system regardless of which healthy life change plan you are following one of the last things we want to do in regards to this is make sure that we are mentally prepared you know when it comes to making ourselves healthy or becoming a better healthier self then we want to make sure that we are mentally prepared so mental preparedness is part of this hopefully you have found this video helpful if you have please press the like button below and if you're not a current subscriber please subscribe remember your health is your wealth and i will see you next time bye for now